Hello teachers! Let's talk about how to use your brand new Apple TV and Sony Bluetooth speaker together. Start by turning on your television or your projector. If the Apple TV icon doesn't come on right away, hit the power button in the upper right hand corner. If you can see this screen with movie suggestions and the Apple TV icon, you're in the right place. Another tip is if you can't find the Apple TV or if it's not showing, switch the input on the projector or television remote control. We will always put your Apple TV in HDMI 1. There it is. Okay, so now uh, our Apple TV is turned on and it's time to connect my laptop to the Apple TV. So I am currently running the latest version of Mac OS Monterey and for the previous one, Big Sur, uh, it should be the exact same. We're gonna come up to the upper right hand corner to these two little switches in along the top and we're gonna click on it one time and we're gonna come down to screen mirroring. When you choose screen mirroring, it's going to show you a list of all of the Apple TVs that are in your vicinity on your Wi-Fi network. And this is an important thing to remember is that Apple TV works off of Wi-Fi. So you have to be on the teacher's Wi-Fi network in order to use the Apple TVs. Students will not be able to use the Apple TVs. So search for your room number. Your Apple TV is named after the room it's located in. In this case, I'm working with C4.10. And if I click on it, it will turn on. So let's give it, let's do that one more time. 4.10. And you can see it is going to turn on. If it's your first time connecting to the Apple TV, you are going to be asked uh, to enter the pin in order to connect it. From then it will remember. One word of caution with Apple TVs is by default, the first time you connect, they are going to display your entire computer onto the board. So make sure you close your personal email, your personal, I don't know, messages and photos, and make sure you're not leaking any data when you connect the Apple TV. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and connected my laptop to the Apple TV. There you can see it right there. So now what we want to talk about is how can we use our Sony Bluetooth speaker as the output for sound on the Apple TV. So for that, you got a couple options. You can come back into the top, into the um, top bar there, and you can see a Bluetooth icon. You're welcome to click there. Or you can hit Command Spacebar and search the word Bluetooth uh, and open it from System Preferences as well. So not Bluetooth File Exchange, but Bluetooth, uh, just Bluetooth. Turn on the Sony speaker with the top button right here. And then in order to broadcast a Bluetooth signal, hit the Bluetooth logo right underneath the power button. Now on my screen, I can see that the Bluetooth uh, speaker is ready to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect. Bluetooth connected. And it sounds like that worked. Now we have a problem. All of the speakers are going to be named the same thing. Because they're all the, make, the same make and model, you're going to see that your speakers and all the speakers are going to say SRS XB23, and it's going to be difficult for your machine to know which one is your speaker. The good news is, is if we rename the speaker right now, your computer will remember this unique device. So I'm going to right click on the speaker and I'm going to go ahead and rename it. And I'm going to name it the same thing as the Apple TV. So C4.10 just so I know exactly what speaker it is or where the speaker is that I'm going to connect to. Very important step. Okay, so when I was filming that last section, the speaker was actually also a microphone and it was picking up my voice, so the audio was a little bit funny. So I'm going to overlay a narration onto this next section. So to choose the sound output, you're going to open up Spotlight, Command, uh, command space bar and you're going to search the word sound. There we go. 
And what you wanna select is you wanna select the Bluetooth speaker, which you just renamed, so C4.10. I'm going to make sure that is selected as the output. And now the way you can test that is I'm hopping over to a YouTube video and if I hit play, I'm gonna see that the sound and the video are now perfectly synced. And that's what so many teachers at our school wanted. I know that in this demo, because I had to redo the voiceover, you can't see it, but take my word for it. It's gonna work. <laughs> So there you have it, ISB, how to set up your Apple TV and your Bluetooth speaker so they work perfectly together. Sai and I will be sure to stick the Bluetooth, or pardon me, the Apple TV remote control onto the wall in a very visible place so it's easy to keep control of. And if you have any questions about this new technology or how to use it effectively, please feel free to reach out. Have a nice day. Enjoy the new tech. Hi teachers, just a quick little follow-up at the end of this video. In the previous school year, I reached out to the entire ISB community and asked uh, teachers and staff members, what would you like to see as the future of casting and sound at the school? And since I've joined our school, I think one of the biggest uh, issues I've had or I've seen with teachers and technology, one of the things that we could have fixed was casting and sound. So when I polled the entire community, uh, about 51% of people said that they preferred an Apple TV as their casting device. <clears throat> and about 55% of respondents said they wanted a, a lightweight Bluetooth that could move around the classroom with them. So the technology that we're putting in the classroom today, I'm happy to report is you know, really based on best practices, teachers' feedback, and a fit that I think is really gonna work for all of our teachers and for our students. So I hope you enjoy it. Take care.